Welcome back everyone, we're going to be solving Leetcode 841, Keys and Rooms. So there are n rooms labeled from 0 to n minus 1, and all of the rooms are locked except for room 0. Our goal is to visit all of the rooms, however we cannot enter a locked room without having the key. When we visit a room, we may find a set of distinct keys within, and each key has a number on it, denoting which room it unlocks. We can take all of them uh, with us when we uh, unlock the other rooms, or to unlock the other rooms. So we're given an array called rooms, where rooms of i is going to be the set of keys that we can obtain if we visited room i. We need to return true if we can visit all of the rooms or false otherwise. So this is going to be a graph problem, um, or I'm going to set it up like a graph problem. So what, what do we have to do? We have to create an adjacency list, but they don't give us they don't give us a pair of values, right? The, the other graph problems we've solved on the channel, they give us, um, you know, an array that has two values inside of it. But this one can either have, right, can have none, one, or, you know, one to n. So how can we do this? So let's set up our graph. And we can see in example one, they say we visit room zero and pick up key one. So the index of the array that contains the keys is going to be the room. So we can set that up as the key in our dictionary with the array being the values. So let's do that. Let's say for i in range length of rooms, if that um, index is not in our graph, we are just going to add that index to our graph. What is the value going to be? The value is going to be all of the keys um, in that specific array. So it'll be uh, rooms of i. So let's print out our graph so we can see what we have. Invalid syntax. This should be not in, not is not in. Okay, so now our graph we can see, right? We Room 0 has key number 1, room 1 has key number 2, room 2 has key 3, and room 3 has no keys in it, right? And this is our representation of our rooms array. Alright, so now what do we have to do? We have to see if we can visit all of the rooms, right? So this sounds eerily similar to some sort of traversal problem, right? So we can either use breadth first or depth first. And it probably makes more sense to use depth first since we need to visit all of the rooms without, you know, we don't have to worry about finding a shortest path or anything. So we're going to use this using a depth first search. How do we start that? Well, we need a stack, and that is going to be initially uh, to an empty array, but we are going to start at uh, room zero. We're also going to have a visited set, which is going to already contain room zero, right? Okay, now all we have to do is just traverse the graph. Can we visit all of the nodes? That's what we have to find out. So while the length of our stack is not equal to zero, we are going to grab the uh, we're going to grab the node with stack.pop and then if that node um, is not in the visited set we want to run our traversal so we will say for for neighbor in graph of node actually this should be if the node is in our graph. Sorry about that. If node uh, in graph, we want to run our traversal. So for neighbor in graph of node, we want to grab all those keys. Uh, but first, we want to check if that key or yeah, if that key has been visited or not. That room. So if uh, neighbor not in visited, what do we want to do? We want to say visited dot add the neighbor. And we want to add that neighbor onto our stack. Stack.append that neighbor. Now, when we finish this loop, 
right, this entire traversal, if we have a visited set equal to the length of our rooms array, then we know we have visited all of the rooms. If it's not equal to uh, our rooms array, then we haven't visited all of the rooms and we can return false. So how can we account for this? We can just say return the length of the visited set equal to the length of our rooms array. And that should give us the right answer. So let's run this. Perfect, it does pass both test cases, so we'll submit. And it does run, awesome. So time and space complexity, what are they going to be? Space complexity, we are using, uh, we're using a graph, we're using a stack and a visited set. So it is, our space complexity is gonna depend on the length of all three of these. So it's gonna be O of our graph.length, and if you wanted to get specific, you could say it's the number of nodes in our graph. But this does this does just fine. Um, plus the length of our stack, plus the length of our visited set. So visited.length, and then the time complexity is going to be O of N, right? We're doing a O of N traversal here to create our graph. And then we are also doing an O of N traversal on our graph. So um, again, if you wanted to get real technical, it could be O of N plus N, but we uh, can simplify that down to just O of N. All right, that'll do it for Leetcode 841.